I thought we did something with that. They went to conservation. Mm. Is that the one that will buy um, the moose, right? No. No. no, 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 right in Valley oh, Road. The Valley, the Valley Road, there was a, the, the, the developer was supposed to build a little right. tot lot. Yeah, it's right next to his house, actually. Right. Yeah. Okay. And by the, time that, by the time that he decided he was going to do it, was, you know, no one wanted it anymore because it right. was right. all grown. Right. No, I remember that because when I was on Park and Rec, they actually say, asked us if we wanted it. I know Park, Park Rec said no. said thank you, but no thank you. All right. And we were looking to... Uh, but it's not on the list. He's right. It's not on there. Well, that could be that it's still being held in private ownership then. I thought we did something. No, it's not accepted. But no, it's I, been accepted, thought there right? was, uh, mm -hmm. I thought one of the abutters approached us, and I thought we uh, we may have sold it. I thought to double check it. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't you. No, it wasn't me. Another <laughs> one to check. Yeah, can we just check that one? It's yeah, it's, road. yeah. There's, a, there's a story behind it, obviously, because of the development. Worth about ten grand. What's that? That one's worth about ten grand. Do you think so? <laughs> Good <Yeah>. luck. <laughs> so Greg, what, what are your wishes this evening for us to um, to those? to indicate uh, an interest in uh, sale of the 12 lots that the board offered for sale last year, of which there were no bidders. And additionally, your consideration for the properties at um, 17 R Francis Street. And um, that's the separate packet, just so you know, there's a, the second packet has letters of interest, 17 R Francis Street and 8 Devons Road, um, all, both of which the boards and committees have indicated that there is no interest in, that we, we schedule those for a hearing, give the board an opportunity to publicize it, give the abutters who indicated an interest in the property to come in and speak on their behalf. It really is an opportunity for anyone to come in and speak. It's not only the people who are interested in this parcel, but there may be other neighbors in the neighborhood who have compelling reasons as to why the land should re be retained in municipal ownership. That's happened before also. Um, and some of those discussions have been contentious between a party that wants to buy it and neighbors who wish to have it not be sold. It falls back to the board. So th that would be the recommendation is to consider those two plus the original 12. Um, and do so at a public hearing coming up. You know, motion from us? No, no need, no need for a motion at this point because the motion will be after you hold the public hearing. Okay. Going on page of the annual municipal review. Yes. Page numbers not coming up there. Page 20. So that's seven acres and the five acres. Can you just give me a little bit more information on that? So they don't. It's donated land. Well, they're looking to the road and on Darrell Street. <clears throat> Dowell Drive. Uh, is there a map in here showing where roughly what they're donating? The yes. If you go to the sep second packet. Oh, okay. See. Um, in the second packet, you'll find that there are maps. Okay. For each of these parcels, and I'm going to give everyone a chance to find that, and I'll give you the exact page number on it. It's on page 24-29. Is that it? 2429, yeah. And, and also page 28 is the Lindo Road. 28 and 29. It's the Lindo Road parcel. So there's actually no access to it from Correct. the street. The, the Lindo Road, I think they're both landlocked. They're both landlocked. Yeah. Is it? That Lind Lindor? You can't get to that You can't Oops. get to it if it's landlocked. It shows it shows it, it, like it shows some footage on um, on Lindo yeah. Road. It shows hundred feet of frontage. Yeah. It does. And I'm trying to figure out exactly where it is. I go by it every day. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all the way down yeah, I know, West Bob, Bob, if you're coming if you're coming out of your house, you know what you're driving your left, go right. It's heading north on Lindor Road. Right. All the way down uh, the end. Yeah, so you, you would actually go by the You see that little cul-de-sac? That's where it used to end. Oh, really? That's where Lindor Road used to end, and now, and now it connects up to... Uh, yeah. Right, so, but it's... Uh, Susan is off, if you're looking at the map, off to the right, right? Am I looking at this right? No. No. Actually, it, if you... Yes, it, yes yeah. if, you, if you look at it, page 29... Yeah. Right. Page 29. So if you head south on Lindor, take a left on Susan. Right. Lindor takes a right. Susan right, I'm just left. trying to picture that lot. How many, oh, I'm looking how many at the one on houses 24. are How many lots in, Steve? One, two, three, it'll be the third three, lot up, but third there's no house up. on it. What? There's no house on it, though. 
there's no, no house on it. So there's, there is uh, some space it, between a couple of houses, and I guess maybe. I think it's. I was looking at the one on page 24. I wasn't looking at the one mm -hmm. on 29. That one looked landlocked. Yeah, that was landlocked. You're right. That's it could be grandfathered, right? My guess is that this had value to build. build on there would have already been a house here yeah. 40 years ago. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. The frontage on the other two properties adjacent to it is 102. All right. Yeah, those are, They're those all, are all small houses there. Mm -hmm. That yeah, they're, section they're, they're of the capes and ranches. And, yeah. 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 So they, uh, some of them have been redone, right. but. Well, that's what I'm saying. Could it, it looks be, like it has could could be aggregated into someone's front yard right now as you drive down the street. Or a couple that's of those lots backyards. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Interesting. Yeah, I walk by there every day. It's between. Well, the one that's landlocked, would we, why would we have an interest in a landlocked piece? Uh, LUC has an interest in it. Uh, there's a letter of interest in it because it abuts the Ives Forest. <clears throat> so, I believe that's what it said. Yes. So you could actually access it going from Havels, uh, yeah, Havels Street, right? So Dale Drive, I thought so. It would be a natural addition to Ives Memorial Forest as it abuts the preserve on two sides. Beautiful undisturbed lot, should remain undeveloped, and adds real value to Ives. So. Excellent. Question, Ali. What's owed on it right now, Greg? Do you know? Pardon me again? It's current. Pretty current. Right? Current. Just a yeah, there's a little bit. There's a quarter due, I think, on yeah, it. Just a current. Yeah, it's right. You know, they've been they've been paying on it all along. Seventy dollars on one of them. I think ninety on <laughs> ninety-eight yeah. or something. So the total is two seventy-three annually. That's right. Okay. Anything else? And it's uh, held by a trust out in Michigan. So, of course, they have no interest in continuing to own this property if it's of, of no use to them. Is it uh, what there? Um, this little squiggle through there makes you wonder. What's that? Is that wetland? Cause the, yeah, because the four, the, um, actually the fight yeah, department I has see a the road, squiggle. a little fight department road, access road off of Havel Street that comes right up behind this. Through Ives. So it's not wet because I've been back there. At least when I've been back there, hasn't been one. When you go back there? I've been riding around in the legal vehicle. Well, I won't see talking about that. Um, I see the squiggle. Yeah. I, yeah, that's. I, one would presume that there's a brook. Yeah, that's what right. I was thinking. On the property. But that's yeah. okay. Yeah, I, I think the LUC suggestion that it would be a natural uh, addition to the, the Eyes Memorial Forest is. It's going to get as far as what we're realizing for taxes on it. It's minimal. That's yeah, nothing. And I think if they're offering it to us for nothing, that's a good one to take. The Lindor Road, Lindor Road one. Um, I'm wondering if an abutter may be interested rather than the town getting involved. There's, there's three, actually two direct abutters, and actually three, but. Um, you know, based on the lots there, they grandfathered them? That was why I asked the question. It's, they all have 100 feet of frontage. Yeah, those yeah. are all that's early. Uh, What's down there? Is there anything wet down there? Yeah, yeah it is very wet in the woods. It's further then. down, though. They used to have the flooding problem. Yeah, they did. They put in a bunch drainage. of drainage. Um, we have four lots down. That's actually down. across the street from Kim, well, there, there are some, house, right? Bob, there are some squiggles it's adjacent to it again, I see. Yeah, but, you know, again, yeah, there's, there's got to be brooks and wetlands around it. picture here. Uh, Karen's yeah. house is that one. Yeah. It's diagonally, diagonally across. across. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, one of the wishes. Put the. Should have the area. 
No, I, okay. you're asking well, whether or not we should consider accepting, accepting the donation? Yeah, I yes. think we should. What the yeah. heck? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, maybe Mr. O'Leary's suggestion, excuse me, yep. if he doesn't kill himself, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. um, maybe go back to the owner of the property and maybe they should send out a letter to the abutters giving them first rate. Maybe they, you know, rather than get us involved. Let's want to accept it for nothing and sell it somewhere down the road. Yeah, that's fine. We again, what we're realizing on this, I mean, there are there are brooks and streams that run through the Lindor Road. You see, right along the edge of it. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. very wet back there. It, there may be some tax advantages as to why they wish to donate it to the town versus. Well, yeah, because the, the, it's obviously not buildable. Otherwise, they would have built on it, and uh, so they're just carrying it for a few hundred dollars a year. We'll okay. give value to them. I say let's do it. Okay. So we're going to add two more parcels. Hopefully we can sell two before we add two. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good, yeah, good so for a here. Adam. What we do is we will uh, we'll schedule for a hearing in, uh, in August and uh, provide legal notification. It will be in the newspapers. Um, what we also need to do is come back to the board with a recommendation prior to that hearing on other parcels that may be available again. There have been, there's been a long history of other parcels that uh, the board has wanted to sell in the past, and for different reasons, we haven't sold it. And we're not going to, you know, we're not looking at a, a hundred parcels to sell. There's probably a half a dozen that are sizable and may have some value in terms of selling them off at this point. Can you do a follow up though on the piece, of the parcel next to Mr. Fody's house? That Absolutely. He's on, he's on my list. Check on property on Valley Road. Just as a note, by the way, if you look at the, the page 29, 29 yeah. uh, see that parcel 115, which runs across a whole bunch of uh, lots on Lindor Road? I believe the developer of Dwayne Drive, I don't think we took it or offered it to us. Yes, that piece is town property. Is that town? Yes, number 115. Yep. yep. That runs behind, looks like about six lots. Did we take mm -hmm. that? Do we, we own accept that? that? Yes, we, we uh, have accepted it, and the town has sole ownership of that parcel. Okay, because I remember uh, we hesitated at first, and then uh, I think just as it's one of It's one of the ones that's on my short list. So why wouldn't it be included with each one of the whole lots that, it, that it's abutting? It, it, well, separate ownership. You'd have to, you'd have to subdivide, subdivide it. The town right. would have to subdivide right. it, and then. Which we could do. Or we could. It's going to cost you. Yeah. Or we could sell it to the highest bidder, one of the six abutters. No, I'm subdivided. May decide that they want to have a place for their ponies to run free. Yeah. yeah. Good. I would think it would be, you know, if you're one of the six, those lots that abuts it, maybe. You know, it's yeah, seven. Seven. Lot. So we do own that because I know there was we do. one year we, we decided not to. No, I'm, I'm positive. Yeah, but then I thought we did. Uh, I'm positive. I, I just I didn't see it painted up here as town all Oh, I, I, I know, I so know it well, though. Okay. I know it well. There's there's a couple of properties that uh, that that I've thought about for a long time. And this is this is really right. You have enough direction from us? I do. I appreciate it. Right. Any further discussion? No, sir. All right. Move on. Number nine, town administrator's goals and objectives. Yes. That wasn't the original packet, right? Yes. I'll twist it around here. Mr. Chairman, would you like me to uh, to introduce a discussion on this? Please. Okay. Um, the, the board had asked me to, uh, to list out <coughs> some goals and objectives for this fiscal year, and I put together um, six things that I felt were important for the next fiscal year um, and then listed some objectives with some um, milestones and some dates associated with each and I'd like to go through them and uh, any feedback or questions I'd be happy to respond to. Uh, the first is uh, expand and improve upon the town's information technology resources and um, there are two items that we've talked about that are on the front burner. The first of that is expansion of Munis, um, and the second is to consider the enterprise document management. I would anticipate that both of those would be uh, reviewed as part of the fiscal 2013 capital improvement plan. And I wanted to list them out here that there are significant efforts that are going on and necessary to consider funding of those for the October town meeting. 
second objective is to develop a technology master plan that inventories all existing hardware, network systems, and proposes 